Okay, so what you want to do first is open up Avid and then go to your wherever the file is and open up that. Um, all right now, after that's all opened um, and you have your finished, totally finished editing, edited video, uh, make sure you have the slate at the front, which is just everyone's names, and then at the very end, you need to have the um, credits. And while the credits are part of your one minute, the slate is not. So don't worry about the slate, you can just add that on right now if you haven't done it and it won't affect your time. Alright, you want to go to the very beginning, you can hit home and drop your in point, hit end, drop an out point. Um, go up to uh, clip and then scroll all the way down until you see render in and out. You want to click on that, save it inside your drive, um, and then render all those files. I've already done it, so I can't do it now, but that will render all of your transitions and effects and macros and mats and everything else. Um, after that's done rendering, uh, you want to play through it to make sure everything happened right, which it should have done just fine. Um, you want to after that you want to go up to file and then down to export. All right, you want to choose send to QuickTime Movie. It might just be QT Movie. Um, and then name it uh, P1 for Project One, and then your last name and then your first name. At at the end it should have uh, a dot mov at the end. That's the QuickTime format. Um, save it in whatever folder you want, but you're gonna have to um, have it someplace where you can remember it and move it to your uh, CD to burn later. Okay, after this we have to go to options. Alright, so you want to make sure it's exported as a QuickTime movie. Um, use marks and use enabled tracks. Um, you want it to do a custom uh, formatting options. Uh, make sure video and sound are both checked. Under video, hit settings. Uh, make sure that the compression type is H.264. Um, frame rate needs to be current and on all. Um, data rates automatic and quality you want to be at best and then best quality with the multi passes. Okay. Alright, and then for uh, sound, um, no compression, uh, make sure that the rate is at uh, 48, 16 bit, and stereo. That's pretty much it. Okay, doke. And then leave the prepare for internet streaming unchecked. All right, um, the width and the height should be 640 by 480. That's a VGA full size. Um, after that, you need to go to size to fit, not crop and pad. Um, uh, color levels uh, are not the RGB, but the 601 slash 709 and then a uh, single field, not even or odd. Um, aspect ratio is 4 by 3, which is pretty much just the same thing we already had it on. Alright, and don't create a preview. Once you've finished all that, uh, make sure all the settings are the same. And save that. And then you can just hit save and it will export the video. Um, once you're finished, um, doing that, you're going to want to um, check the video after it's been exported, and to check it, <clears throat> you're going to uh, want to play it with QuickTime. Don't try to use another player, because it won't work uh, very well. So if it if the QuickTime is not your default player, you can right click, and then open with, and then QuickTime. And it'll open it with QuickTime. Uh, so there you have it. I think that's it. For burning, um, just follow the, the tutorial online. It's pretty much as simple as putting in a CD uh, or a DVD minus R and then just drag and drop and hit burn. Kidoke.